Hello everyone, welcome to Ali Board. In this particular video, we will be looking at some of the data inequality type 2 question which are very important part of your mains examination, okay? Whether it be your banking examination or insurance examination. And in this video, I will be telling you some approach you, which you must follow in order to solve this question in minimum time possible, okay? So without wasting any time, let's move on to our problem. So I have already discussed the framework of these type of data inequality type 2 question, okay? So they will provide you with some certain information and after that they will define two quantities quantity 1 and quantity 2 okay so i have to find quantity 1 and quantity 2 separately but here you can see that quantity 2 is already provided us with 90 degree okay so we don't have to find quantity 2 we have to only find quantity 1 and after finding this quantity 1 we have to compare these two values okay so the information that they have provided is o is the center of the circle okay so we have a circle and o is the center of a circle okay and inside this circle we have a quadrilateral a o c b okay now note that this quadrilateral is not cyclic quadrilateral okay what is a cyclic quadrilateral a quadrilateral whose all vertices are touching the circumference of the circle okay now if i say that this is my quadrilateral okay if this is a quadrilateral and this is the center of the circle o a b c d okay then this quadrilateral will be cyclic quadrilateral because the vertices of the quadrilateral are touching the circumference of the circle and all the vertices are touching the circle but here the quadrilateral is not like that okay because this vertices this vertices that is o is not touching the circumference but the center of the circle so this is not basically a cyclic quadrilateral now what they are asking in quantity one they are asking the value of a plus b okay so a is indicated by this angle and b is indicated by this angle now how will you approach this particular type of problem so if you look closely in the this triangle a o b this is a isosceles triangle okay because this is the radius of the circle ob is radius of the circle and ao is also radius of the circle and oc is also radius of the circle so this triangle aob is an isosceles triangle that is these two sides are equal okay also in this triangle boc these two sides are equal okay and there is a property of isosceles triangle that if two sides are equal okay then opposite angle to these sides are also equal okay so this side opposite angle is this one okay and this side's opposite angle is this one. So these will also be equal. So I can say that in triangle AOB, okay, opposite angle of this side is this one, okay, and opposite angle of this side is A. So if this is A, this must also be A, okay. Likewise, in this triangle BOC, I can say that this will be angle B. So I have to find the value of A plus B, okay. Now, if you look at the triangle AOB, okay, sum of all the three angles is 180 degree. So I can say A plus A plus 55 is 180 degree. So, 2a plus 55 is basically what? 180 degree. Again, in the triangle BOC, I can write B plus B plus 45 is equal to 180 degree because sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So, I can write 2b plus 45 equal to 180 degree. Now, if I add these two, I will be having 2a plus b plus 100 equal to 360. Okay, this will be 360, this 50 plus 40 is 90, 5 plus 5 is 10, so this will be 100. Now, if I find A plus B, A plus B will be, this 100 will go this side, so it will be 260. And if I cancel this 2, it will be 130. So, A plus B is basically 130. So, this is coming out to be 130 degrees, okay. And since this is angle, it will be expressed in degree. So, this is 130 degree and this is 90 degree. So, my quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2. So, my answer will be option A, that is quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2. You can also use one another approach that is angle at the center for the same arc angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference okay so if i consider this arc this arc ac i can say for this arc this is the angle at the center okay this angle represented by this black curve is your angle at the center and this will be angle at the circumference for this arc ac okay and we know that angle at the center okay angle at the center will be since this is the center of the circle and center of the circle subtend an angle of 360 degree okay so total angle is 360 degree now if i add these two this will be 100 okay so this will be 260 such that 260 plus 100 will be 360 so the angle at the center is 260 okay and we have a theorem that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference angle at the circumference is what a plus b so 2 a plus b so from here also i can say that a plus b is what 130 so you can use this approach as well okay either you can use the isosceles triangle criteria or you can use the angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference for solving this type of problem okay now let's move on to question number two so this is your second question okay so they have provided there are a set of numbers that is two one three four and five so we have got five numbers with us okay and the quantity one is defined as the probability of picking a five digit number in ascending order without replacement okay so quantity one is basically finding the probability now whenever we find probability 
probability is basically the number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes okay so in the favorable outcome we have to take care of this thing that we have to find a five digit number provided the number in that five digit number is in ascending order okay and the numbers are used without replacement and the denominator will be the total number of ways and total number of ways in which a five digit number can be found using these five digits okay so if i find the total number of ways the total number of ways will be since we have a formula that if there are n places okay for example if there are n places to be filled to be filled by n numbers okay if we have n places and n numbers are to be filled in these places the total number of ways is n factorial okay so i can say that in order to make a five digit number using these five numbers i total number of ways will be five factorial okay because for making a five digit number i have five places to be filled using these five numbers so the total number of ways will be five factorial so my denominator will be five factorial now five factorial will be 120 you can also use fundamental principle of counting to get the total number of ways okay the total number of ways is five factorial that is 120 now i can say that in the first place any of the number can come okay when i am making a five digit number the first place can be filled by any of these numbers so there are five ways either two can come in this, either one can come in this position either three can come or four can come or five can come so total number of ways to fill the first position is five now when i have already filled the first position i will be left with only four numbers so the second place i have four choices four number can come in this place in four ways that is four total number of ways now when i have filled these two numbers i have already given out two numbers out of these five so i will be left with only three numbers now three numbers any of the three numbers can come in the third place so this will be filled in three ways likewise i can say that the fourth and fifth place will be filled in two and one ways now fundamental principle of counting says that if we have an event which comprise of a number of events okay now this is the event of filling the first place this is the event of filling the second place this is the event of filling the third place and this is the event of filling fourth and this is the event of filling the fifth place okay so these are separate events and whenever we have a set of events occurring simultaneously so these are occurring simultaneously so the total number of ways will be multiply these numbers okay so this way also i will get 120 okay so either you can use a definition of n factorial that if there are n places and n numbers are to be filled in those places the total number of ways is n factorial or you can use the fundamental principle of counting that is we have to first determine the total number of ways for the first place then the second place then third then fourth and then fifth place and then multiply them you will get 120 so i can say that the probability is the total number of outcome is 120 okay now out of all those five digit number the ascending order will be in only one way that is one two three four five there will be many numbers that is total 120 numbers can be formed but out of those five digit numbers only one of the number will be in ascending order and that number is one two three four five so my favorable outcome can occur only in one way so this is one so quantity 1 is basically 1 by 120 and quantity 2 they have already provided us 1 by 100 so i have to compare this quantity 1 and this is quantity 2 now this is 1 by 120 and this is 1 by 100 okay now since the numerator are equal i can compare using the denominator okay now if the denominator is smaller okay if the denominator is smaller the number overall the fraction overall will be larger so this fraction okay that is 1 by 100 will be larger compared to this one because here the denominator is larger so if the denominator is larger the overall fraction will be less okay so in this case my answer will be quantity 2 is greater than quantity 1 so i will choose option c okay now let's move on to question number 3 now in question number 3 they have given if m to the power 4 is equal to 1 by 256 and m cube is less than m square then quantity 1 is find the value of m and quantity 2 is 0 okay this is 0 now i have to find the value of m now using these equations okay m to the power 4 is equal to 1 by 256 now i can write this 1 by 256 as 1 by 4 to the power 4 okay so i can say that m is 1 by 4 okay but since this is an equation i have to look at the degree of this m okay since the degree of m is 4 so there will be four solutions okay now this next this is only the first solution the second solution will be minus 1 by 4 okay because if i even if i introduce minus 4 here i will be getting 1 by 256 only so my second answer will be this one and these are the two only real values okay these are the two real values that i will get from this equation okay the other two solutions will be complex numbers so we will not consider this because in banking examination or in any competitive examination most of the question are based on real number okay so we have to take only those values which are 
real values okay not the complex number so i will neglect these two values i will consider only these two values okay now if you want to find all the four solutions to this particular equation you have to do like this m to the power 4 minus 1 by 4 to the power 4 equal to 0 i have taken this 156 on the left hand side okay now if i factorize these two number i can write it like this m square square minus 1 by 4 square whole square okay now this will look like this a square minus b square so a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b so i can write like this m square plus 1 by 4 square and m square minus 1 by 4 square okay now this will give us two complex number okay two complex number solutions complex solutions will be provided by this and two real number solution will be provided by this equation okay because either this will be equal to 0 or this will be equal to 0 because we have got two factors okay so if i take this equal to 0 i will be having this is a square minus b square so i can write a plus b and m minus 4 equal to 0 okay so my m will be 1 will be m equal to 1 by 4 and the other root will be minus 1 by 4 and these will be the two real values that i will be getting okay i am not considering the complex value because in uh, banking examination we don't have to consider the complex value solutions okay now this is the first equation okay from this first equation i am getting m equal to plus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 okay you don't have to look at these things okay just for your understanding so that you can understand easily i have provided this particular explanation okay now if you look at the second equation it is saying that m cube is less than m square okay so i can write it like this m cube minus m square is less than 0 okay now if i take common m square i will be having m square m minus 1 less than 0 okay now if this m square will never be 0 okay so this will be 0 this will be less than 0 okay because this m square will always be positive okay so this can never be less than 0 so this has to be less than 0 so m minus 1 is less than 0 so i can say that m is less than 1 okay so my answer will be m is less than 1 okay now if i use these two okay that is m less than 1 and m equal to plus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 okay now this plus 1 by 4 is also less than 1 and this minus 1 by 4 is also less than 1 so m is taking two values that is m equal to 1 by 4 and m equal to minus 1 by 4 so my quantity 1 is 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 okay and quantity 2 is 0 now if i compare this 0 is less than 1, 1 by 4 but greater than minus 1 by 4 okay so in one case i will be getting 1 greater than 2 and in the second case if i compare these two number i will be getting 2 is greater than 1 now whenever this happen we say that the relation cannot be established okay because in one of the cases i am getting quantity 1 is greater than quantity 2 and in the second case i am getting quantity 2 is greater than 21 so my ideal answer will be option e that is quantity 1 is equal to quantity 2 or the relation cannot be established so my answer will be in this case option e okay so with this i will conclude today's session if you have any doubt in any of the problem you can comment down below and i will try to rectify them as soon as possible okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to Alibode. thank you